This is how Young Thug spends his millions. Hell time, trying to rock that shit, turn it by the hell time. Boom. Yeah. Young Thug is one of the hottest rappers on the scene presently, rising to massive popularity in recent years. He currently boasts a net worth of over $8 million, and he loves to spend his money. Welcome to Lime Report. Today, we're talking about Young Thug and the ways the 27-year-old spends his millions. Make sure to watch all the way to the end. You won't want to miss a thing. And don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment keyword THUGGER for a chance at our $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. One of Young Thug's favorite things to spend money on is his family, particularly through fancy cars. Young Thug put out a video showing him and his entourage literally flying around the country to gift his siblings and parents expensive vehicles. Keep in mind, Young Thug has 10 siblings. That's 11 sports cars overall. When his dad got into the passenger seat of his new car, he found an envelope with $60,000 in cash. The video becomes quite emotional as Young Thug's father begins to cry tears of happiness as he realizes the extent of his son's gift. Not only that, but Young Thug also bought his siblings' houses. His own $2.45 million mansion, which we'll talk about more later, he had said he only bought because it had an elevator. But later it was revealed his mother was unable to climb stairs due to a medical condition and that the house was for her. In an interview with Rolling Out, Young Thug described the reasons he showers his family with all of his newfound wealth, saying, I do it from the heart. I don't do it for the fame. My mom got 11 kids. We struggled. But I recently bought everybody a car. I'm the type of person to put myself in everybody else's shoes. If I was coming up and my sister had the money, I would want my sister to buy me a car. No matter what goes on, no matter if I go broke doing it, it's hard for me to say no. Reportedly, Young Thug drops by family dinner twice a week with a stack of cash. That's quite the gesture, but it's not the craziest thing he's done. Make sure to keep watching. You won't believe how else he spends his money. His family's not the only people he helps out. He's recently dipped his toe into philanthropy and social justice. He recently endorsed and joined Fight Against Poverty campaign, talking about the issue of poverty in the world, but specifically in the U.S. and how it affected him growing up. He said, The fight against poverty is important and means a lot to me because it is a part of my background. Where I'm from is real poverty. My mama had 11 kids, and when you have that many kids, you're going to experience hard times. We all got it, though. My friends and I were robbers. We were bad, bleeping kids that took everything we wanted. He went on to add, I think people only care about what affects them. It's selfish, but I think it's the truth. If they are not affected by being poor, they don't typically fight for it. I remember not having anything, so I want to always stay involved. But while Young Thug spends money in generous ways, he also plays the part of a famous young rapper, buying himself things like a $3 million collection of 15 luxury cars, which he keeps in pristine condition. Some of the cars cost upwards of $80,000, and the collection includes names like Porsche, Maybach, Corvette, and Bentley. Young Thug showed off his collection and style in a series of photos he posted online. Just as Young Thug cares about his family, he also provides for his friends, especially in their times of need. Last year, Young Thug's friend Lil Uzi Vert, the 25-year-old rapper out of Philadelphia, was going through a hard time. He was really feeling the stress of releasing his upcoming projects, was consuming a lot of illicit substances, and was in the middle of some public rap beef with Rich the Kid. It seems like things were weighing him down enough that Young Thug decided his friend needed some special treatment. Young Thug treated Lil Uzi Vert to the grandest of shopping sprees. Young Thug posted a photo on Instagram in which he was holding up two receipts, both as tall as he is. He also posted another picture of him and Lil Uzi sitting on the floor of a high-end fashion store. In it, Uzi can be seen with a glass of champagne and Young Thug is holding a bag full of money. The caption read, Best friends forever, hashtag Young Thug and hashtag Lil Uzi Vert. The internet went wild for a minute after news of the shopping spree and rapper 21 Savage actually came after them over social media. Commenting on Young Thug's post, he said, Y'all bleeped. Comments began pouring in after, with one user writing, Surprised there wasn't a picture of y'all kissing. Young Thug simply deleted the comments. In reference to Young Thug's cavalier attitude about gender roles, the Seattle Times wrote, With a fashion sense as unconventional as his rapping, Young Thug can regularly be seen on his Instagram account rocking painted fingernails, skin-tight jeans, or a kid-sized dress as a shirt, which, along with his habit of regularly referring to close male friends as hubby or lover, has led to rumors about his sexual orientation. But that doesn't bother Young Thug one bit. In a Calvin Klein advertisement, Thug said, In my world, you can be a gangster with a dress, or you can be a gangster with baggy pants. Young Thug has always had an intense fashion sense, and he sports opulent accessories with joy. In a way, he has become a fashion icon. 
Let's take a look at some of his more expensive outfits to get an idea of how much he spends on his wardrobe. In a photo shoot for GQ, Young Thug posed in a variety of outfits, the most expensive of which being a look titled, Very Slim and Extremely Shady, running close to $5,000 between the cardigan, jeans, t-shirt, and shoes. That's not including the custom jewelry and smartwatch he casually sports, the most inexpensive look, one called Die Hard, still runs about $1,000 for a jean jacket and a tie-dye t-shirt before accounting for jewelry. Jewelry and accessories are one of Young Thug's favorite things, especially when it comes to spending money. In fact, his jewelry habit has gotten him into a bit of a legal situation, and that's not the only case against him regarding finances. A lawsuit was filed against Young Thug in 2018 by the jewelry company Icebox Diamonds & Watches. The company alleges that Young Thug agreed to pay them close to $200,000 for several luxury items, including a $30,000 Rolex, a diamond wallet chain of the same price, and a $20,000 bracelet. Apparently, Young Thug only ever paid $95,000 worth of the debt, and the company filed suit seeking the remaining balance plus interest. Originally, they sent Young Thug a letter demanding he paid the remaining balance of $115,000, or they would seek legal action against him. When Young Thug never replied, the company proceeded as they had threatened. Apparently, Icebox is now seeking over $350,000 for the outstanding balance, plus punitive and legal fees. But in 2019, Young Thug fired back at Icebox, countersuing, and alleging that he was the victim of extortion and conspiracy. Court documents on behalf of Young Thug, whose legal name is Jeffrey Lamar Williams, state that, over the course of several months and on multiple occasions, plaintiffs solicited Williams and urged him to accept expensive jewelry without requiring any payment up front, predatory business practice involving assurances of a friendly and accommodating transaction with flexible terms to be worked out at a later date, followed by unilaterally set payment terms and deadlines led to the instant lawsuit. But it's not the only legal battle Young Thug is facing over his finances. Last November, Young Thug reportedly put his Atlanta mansion up for sale at the price of $2.9 million. The house, which he has owned since 2016 when he bought it at a price of $2.75 million, takes up 11,000 square feet, boasts 11 bathrooms, six bedrooms, a four-car garage, a theater, a pool, and fully operational bar. It's another grand way Young Thug spends his money, but it's not so clear-cut as fans might think. The real estate company Heritage Select Homes claims in their lawsuit that Young Thug failed to make a $2.2 million payment on the house. Up to the point of the lawsuit, Young Thug had paid off approximately $200,000 on the $2.5 million house. But Young Thug was not to be backed into a corner. Instead of paying a settlement, Thug countersued the real estate company. Young Thug is claiming that Heritage Select Homes conspired to create a false inspection report in which they concealed many detrimental elements of the home. These included foundation damage, an incomplete roof, mold in the basement, and leaks in the pipes. Young Thug is also a big-time gambler and lost large swaths of his wealth in single evenings dancing with Lady Luck. And he's been at it a long time. Thug confessed in an interview with the New York Times that he had been caught with over 10 pairs of dice in school then went on to casually reference a single evening with LeBron James in which he lost $100,000. Young Thug's creative director talked about Thug's gambling habits, saying, There are two Thugs, one a rapper and one a gambler. This ain't Thug, it's Lil Jeff. I think he likes shooting dice more than rapping. I saw him win a $100,000 watch a couple weeks ago, lost all his money, and then took it all and the watch, tricked them. He's slick. That's why they call him Slime. But when Young Thug makes about $50,000 off a single feature, it's no wonder why he looks at his income as so expendable. His director went on to talk about a specific incident that had occurred recently. He said, Early the next morning, a friend who had heard about the previous night's take came over and convinced Thug to go shoot dice in the neighborhood. They spent the day playing dice, and by midnight, Thug had lost all the money he'd made and more. This was fairly typical. Smiling in his interview with Fader, Thug said, I done lost a million gazillion dollars gambling. My dad is a gambler. Young Thug certainly has some outrageous spending habits, from his escalating gambling habit to his $3 million car collection and hundreds of thousands worth in jewelry. It's clear that Young Thug sees money as a disposable resource and has no second thoughts about throwing it around in big and flashy ways. However, he also pours millions into the well-being of his family, friends, and less fortunate. All in all, it's safe to say that Young Thug loves to spend in a big way, both on his family and on himself. How long will it last? Will Young Thug eventually make a bet that bankrupts him? Will he win his lawsuits against the real estate and jewelry companies? What about those felony possession charges he was facing? How will those come into play with his finances? What's your favorite thing that Young Thug spent his money on? Let us know all your thoughts in the comments below. We'd really love to hear them. This has been Lime Report. Thanks so much for watching through to the end. And don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment keyword THUGGER 
for a chance to win our $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time on Lime Report.